Let's take a look at producing a laser cut box using Fusion 360. Um, one thing that we have with laser cutting is we're always using the same thickness of material. So the first thing we can do is set up what that thickness is going to be. Now to do that, under the Modify tab, we have a command called Change Parameters. If you click on that, it brings up this dialog box and it allows us to make a new parameter, aka the thickness of our material. So if I click on the plus, the name, let's call that thickness, and for now we'll take a look at just using 3 millimeter material, but you could change this at any point during the design process. So there we go, user parameter, thickness, 3 millimeters, click OK to close that box, and now I can start sketching and designing my stuff. So I'm going to click on sketch and pick on one of the planes. Now I can start just drawing what the side of my box is going to look like. To do that under the sketch panel I've got rectangle, two-point rectangle. I'm going to start down here at the XY zero point just to make life a little easier later on. And I can move it up. Now you'll see on the screen that I've got a measurement showing up of 75 millimeters across the bottom and 65 millimeters um, height. I can change the numbers in those boxes to get this side of my box exactly the way it is, or exactly the way I want it. So let's say I want to make this box just 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. I can type in 100, hit the tab key twice, type in 100 again, and then that gives me a box. 100 by 100. Cool. So the next thing that we need to do is whenever we're doing a laser cut box project we need to make a couple little teeth where the sides of the box are going to get put together. I'm going to draw the teeth on one side and then mirror them over. So I can come back in to that rectangle tool, two point rectangle, and I'm going to come in on the side. See how I, when I mouse over it I get that X and on when I hit over the grid I get that square. So I'm just going to click there, mouse up. Now the length of the box is highlighted first. So let's say I want to make this 20 millimeters, tab and tab. Now the depth of this tooth I want to be that thickness. So I just type in thickness and you'll see it, it prompts me with a, a dialog box. So I can click on that. Well, it should have worked. Let's try that again. So thickness, you can just hit the enter key as well twice and that'll make set the thickness. So that gives me my first tooth. And let's do another one. So sketch, rectangle, two point rectangle. And we did 20 last time, so 20. Tab, tab, thickness, enter twice and then that gives me my second one. Now, these aren't exactly lining up perfectly, but that's okay. So what we'll do next is make some construction lines that we can use to line them up and to mirror them over. So I'm going to go to Sketch and Line. And I'm going to move along this line until I get a triangle. So see the triangle there? That means that's the center of the line. So I can come out and I'm going to draw a line all the way across. To the next triangle. And I'm going to come down here to the triangle and make a line all the way up to the other triangle. So I know that those lines are in center. Hit the escape key to get out of that line command. And if I click on those lines, I can click on it. And then over here under my sketch panel, construction shows up. So I can click on construction and I can click on construction. So I can use those lines now for geometry but they won't show up in any extrusion. So down here I want to make these two teeth equal distance from center. To do that I can go sketch, sketch dimension, or I could just hit D on the keyboard, click on the, that line, click on the point, and let's say I want this 15 mils from center, just type in 15, and that moves it down. I'm going to do the same on the bottom one. This time I'll just hit D, 
click on the line, or sorry, on the dot at the end there, click on the line. And instead of typing 15, I can just click on the other dimension. And then that sets the two pieces up, 15 and 15. So I want these exactly like they are on the other side. So under sketch again, I've got another function called mirror. So I select mirror. It shows my window here, and I want to select objects first. You can see that's highlighted. So I can select the three lines of that tooth, and the three lines of that tooth. Click on mirror line, so that's selected now. Click on that construction line, that brings them over to the other side. So now I've got teeth on alternate sides of my piece. Now the last one we're going to do is at the bottom. Now we could have it the same way we did the sides, but I find that the box is a little stronger if we put the bottom just offset up a little bit. So I'm going to go sketch rectangle two point again. Don't want it there. Let's try that again. Sketch rectangle two point and come down here. And we want to make another rectangle. I don't know why it's going funny. Let's try that again. Probably because the camera's on. Rectangle two point. There we go. So now I've got my rectangle. Now the first dimension that's showing up is that 5, I want that to be thickness again. So I can type in thickness, enter, enter, and that sets the thickness. Now this one kind of auto jump, so we got the, we didn't get the length. So if I go D for dimension, I can set the length, and I'm just going to set it at 20 again. So you can see there's the tooth starting to show up. So I'm going to go D again, dimension from here, to the side, and we did 15 last time, so I'll go 15 again. That centers it that way. And then I can add another dimension from the bottom. And let's just make this, I don't know, three mils, just slightly above the bottom. So there's a tooth for the bottom of our, of our box. So now we need to take this tooth, bring it over to the other side. To do that, we're gonna go sketch and mirror again. Click on those lines. We're going to click on select for mirror line, select that center line again, and there's the other one showing up. Click OK. And now we've got our two boxes. So we'll go stop sketch, and that'll be the end of this video.